All right, last paper clutter for zone three. Here we go. We're gonna do two separate rooms because it might even be the same room. Here we go. We're talking craft room and guest room. Now, craft room, oh my goodness, people, I know you got the paper in there. We've got construction paper. We've got cardboard paper. We've got tacky paper. We've got sticker paper. We've got regular dra drawing paper. We've got vanilla you know, vanilla paper. We've got paper, 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 paper. See, this paper clutter doesn't necessarily have to be mail. It can also be the craft paper that we have. Oh, let's not forget scrapbooking paper. So paper, 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 paper. I know we have lots and lots and lots of paper. So let's go through. Let's get it taken care of. Um, and work through it. Now, the guest room. Sometimes this is also the storage room. So we tend to just throw things where we can. Now, all great and wonderful, and it works great. And I love the idea until you have guests. Now what are you going to do? Now you got to go through all that paper. Above all, you've also got to make sure that you don't need to do a crisis clean. Because now all of a sudden guests are showing up. So, especially since we're getting close to starting to cruise through the holidays. So, if not, if we haven't already started, depending upon, because I'm filming these early. So, all right. What we need to do is we need to go start going through that paperwork now. So that way, when the guests do show up, we don't have to worry about the paperwork. We don't have to worry about any of that. We can take it in stride, and that's one thing less on our plate because you have already got enough with guests coming. All right, there you go. We'll start Zone 4 on Monday. Bye.